Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to get my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today, I'm very excited to check out the third most popular game on all of Kickstarter and the fifth most popular project on all of Kickstarter, that is Tang Garden Seasons. Now, this one's kind of interesting. The company reached out to me said, hey, we got the Kickstarter up, you should go check it out. I said, yeah, sure, I'll do that. And so that's why we're here. Uh, observing the seasons changing in a zen-like Euro game of breathtaking dot dot dot. Now, in the email they mentioned specifically this is going to be one of those Kickstarter campaigns where it's the... Uh, uh, the game, and then an expansion, that, that oh-so-juicy comeback Kickstarter. But what's more interesting about this one is this, they pitched as the final expansion to Tangard, which you don't typically see that in our hobby where someone says, oh yeah, this is the last one, the last bit of content for this game. Uh, they'll say, oh, this is the last bit of content for this Kickstarter, but for the game entirely. Now, the first thing is, I don't like the fact I can't take a look at the player leg, the time count, or the age right here. Uh, flip two of those words there. Uh, also, I'd like to zoom in a little bit more on the components. Like, I think what they're trying to show is that this is a massive box. Like, it's bigger than a Ticket to Ride size box, which I do believe it is. Um, but I think they could still convey here more here. But then, that being said, 32 stretch goals. That does get me excited. Day 6 of 23. That is a long campaign. Wish age player count time was on that cover photo. Yeah, as always, always wishes there. Uh, Typically, when you have a campaign this long at 23 days, people don't put the days down there. So I'm very interested to see what kind of tricks they have up their sleeve. And the bottom line is, this launched, I believe, on Tuesday. They're still sitting in fifth place. So whatever they're doing, they're doing well. Let's check it out. So Atari raised 387,000 euros. That converts to $431,000. Wowza. I see, the, I see the fact that that is an expansion. Uh, the last expansion for Tang Garden. Uh, okay. As always, when you go to the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. Original prototype. Okay. Whoa. So, uh, one thing I did like they spotlighted there, they showed me the dual layer boards, because I could actually see through it. That was a solid shot. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. It was a dual layer board. I'm foolish. Oh, that one was us. Whoa, that was some weird camera trick there. It went from being one to not being one. Okay, continuing. Do your opinions about representation change when you learn that it is an expansion? Yeah, they kind of do. When I learn that it's an expansion, I kind of feel like, all right, you want... And, and that's, what they, that's what they said in the email. They're, they're hoping that they were able to straddle that line between appealing to the original customer who's coming back for the expansion and the new customer who they're trying to convince to buy the original version and the expansion. And uh, so, yeah, I think it does kind of change a little bit. Last, Sin Last Sinatra tour. All right. It's a prototype board. Base game. Showcasing gorgeous components. I'd like to know more of what you're actually doing in the game. <clears throat> right now it just feels like we're focusing completely on the components. Which we are. That, that, that was cool. That was a cool, oh that's cool how those cards like do that. That's really neat. That was a great shot. I like how they put it in there very, like it's, this is sturdy. That was, that was a good shot. Oh, this is Golden Age. Now, what is this? This is the first expansion. Okay, I can't see it down there, but they're, they're, I like the fact they're letting me know exactly what I'm looking at here. So right now, they've showed me the original game, they've shown me the first expansion now, and then I imagine they're going to show me the, the new expansion. Now, is this a big box as well? Oh, this is, oh, so this is another extension, Ghost Stories. Whoa, 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 that was really fast. So it invites more players? Invite more, oh, more player interaction. Got it. Those look cool. 
I almost feel like this is overload at this point. Like, this is a lot. You're throwing a lot at me right here. And I was just like, hey, how's this game work? And you're just like, there's all the stuff, this stuff and that stuff and this stuff, and it looks gorgeous and it's fantastic. And I'm like, I'd like to, can I, can I just get a taste of the gameplay? Like, the basic, like, is it, do I have a hand of cards? Is it set collection? Is it worker placement? Is it asymmetrical special abilities? Is it tile play? Like, I get that it's tile placement. I do get that. <clears throat> Pretty items, but I'd like to know they work in game. I agree, Garrett. About to beat drop. Oh. Looks really good. Open drafting. I like those words. Wow. This this that you have that this has been very perplexing to me. We went from talking about so few mechanisms to just absolute mechanism overload in this one. Where it's like, oh, there's bidding and there's the open the thing and there's the stuff and there's the stuff. Wow. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it was just it was a total shift a little bit there. Cooperative mode. Wow, work of placement. You points. <laughs> uh, wow. That's a really good shot right there. I that was that last bit there. That was fancy. The final chapter of Tang Garden. So conceivably, this will be the last opportunity that I have to get all this stuff. Now they're not saying that. It's kind of applied, I think, a little bit by saying this is the last expansion of this. Uh, unless they do, like, a mega box one day. But that, that's just... Okay, so overall, that video is a weird one. It was, it, that felt like a very different Kickstarter video than 90% of the Kickstarter videos I see. And I think there was some good stuff. I think there was some bad stuff there. I want to know more. <clears throat> Absolutely want to know more after that video. And it's already raised $431,000. So clearly, that is scratching the itch right there. But then also, 10 created... 336 backed. Wow. For us making games, it's always been very rewarding. Seeing someone having a good time is just priceless. Some people play as a reason to gather with friends, to get family closer, maybe just to unplug after a stressful day. We want to bring games that will make people interact and share a great moment of fun together. Okay. What else? Uh, wow. Holy moly. Lots of stuff right here. Lots of people there, so we should have some good customer service, some good updates. And this right here, this is brand loyalty. You know, how do you get $400,000? You know, how do you, how do you cry? Yeah, because they did Darwin's Journey. That one I know is not out yet, I don't believe, but that was, a, that Kickstarter was a fun ride. That was a great Kickstarter. Uh, Matchbox Collection, what is that? All right, so let's just make sure that people, yeah, this is pre-orders. This one is not out yet. I think I did that one last year. Is this out, though? That's what we're always checking to make sure everything, uh, see how many games they have out pending. And then the Matchbox Collection, Okay. Vessel information and schedule. We uh, we hope to have more information about the vessels we have booked to bring the games to your zone for fulfillment. Wow, they're going super deep in the weeds right there. Like, we're talking about your ship vessels and their zone for fulfillment. That's the kind of customer service that I like to see. There's so two things outstanding. Let's see if this one... Oh, I hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Don't like seeing that. Post for backers only. Why? Why can't I look at it? Rule booklets are here, and we have our UK ERE. May update. First rule booklet update on UK fulfillment. UK fulfillment. Uh, is that what? Is it? Is that because everything else has shipped, or is UK the last one to go, or the first one? I really appreciate after delivery and all that you've gone on. Your want to please your backers is astounding. Thank you. Who do we contact for the US and still receive their games? Uh, this person right here. One of the. Option referring to the form. Where is my order? No one is replying. Hello. Please reach out to us for the, this. Okay, so it looks like they're pretty up-to-date on the customer service. It looks like they have two things outstanding. Okay. I feel comfortable there. And then one thing I also noticed, I've never seen this before. I want to show you something real cool. And this, this is something I need to look into more and more creators. There's a little nifty little icon to backer favorite. A creator who has proven positive track record with their backers from past Kickstarter campaigns. I'm pretty sure I don't remember seeing this on every single Kickstarter. I, I need to go start looking for that. But that right there, 
that that's the kind of thing that I feel like Kickstarter should spotlight right here. Like, that's just a quality of life thing as a Kickstarter. If you're one of those people, wouldn't you like it if that popped up right here? It does it for super backers. It should totally do it for creators right there. You're superb at critiquing the presentation, but is it a good game? I have not played Tank Garden. It is honestly on my shelf of shame. They sent me a review copy. I've never gotten to it. Shame, shame. Uh, I will one day, though. Tank Garden, seasons, one to four players, 60 minutes to play. That's what I like to know. Okay, solo. This is the final expansion. The roofs of the village of the Tang Dynasty are the first to notice the highest temperature changes and the stuff. Is the final expansion for Tang Guards. So that is one thing that I would recommend right here. I still, and, and, and I think Sean, uh, no, Game On had it right there. I still have not been convinced that I need this aside from how gorgeous the components are. Where are the quotes? Where is the, the Board Game Geek Average 8.2? Uh, what was it? There was one that just did that this week, and I was like, oh, that's such a great idea, and I've seen other people do it as well. Like, if you have a great Board Game Geek average, put that sort of thing up there. Give me more information. What awards has this won? Because you're not just selling me an expansion right now. You are essentially selling me five boxes. Like, that's the sell. That's what you're trying to do here. And you're doing it well. Uh, but I feel like mentioning that could be great, too. Do you own Tag Garden? Yes. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is great. Are you still interested in all the content available for the game? Ugh. Look at this. This is this is very nice. I like that. Let's see more of this. This is how you make pledge levels clear. Oh, I need the Tang Garden plus season plus the base game. The Tang Garden. That is so nice. You can upgrade any pledge in the pledge maker by placing a reward pledge. You can get other games and add-ons. Cool. Inside the box. Here we go. Choose your preferred language at the end of your campaign at no extra cost. All the pledge levels are VAT included. Wow. And I bet you we're going to have... I bet you it's still going to be primarily United States of America, but I bet we're going to have a good chunk of people from outside of there. 468 Germany, 470 UK, 297 Italy, 4, 285 France, 281 Canada, 188 Australia, 157 Spain, 137 Netherlands, 83 Belgium. That is spectacular. I don't want, I want to just show you how awesome that is. Let's go to this. Let's just go to just another one, super popular, and I want to show you, okay, this is a bad example because it's a video game one. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go to let's go to the peons down at the board games or maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong let me double check but that to me seems like some great numbers where's the nearest board game all right earth there we go did Con i don't think connor crushed it that hard on the uh no okay maybe it's just me i'm a new well damn <laughs> those are good numbers i swear bgg recommendations was convinced me i like uh, yeah anything to do with board game geek especially when you're Working with a hobby game, I think, is a good idea. So, 45 euros, Kickstarter special price. I'd like to see the uh, United States conversion as well, because even though you're crushing it all over the globe, at least I, I, I think you are, uh, 1,963 people from the U.S., so it's, it'd be nice to know, because I'm assuming that's like 51 bucks. Yep, 51 bucks. Here we go, the stuff. You zoom in on the components. This looks good. Great. This is a lot of stuff. Like, this is, this is a ton of stuff for an expansion. Is this just a whole bunch of modules? Because that's kind of what I want to know here. I kind of want to know how much of these expansions... Six new engaging ways to build your Imperial Guard. But does that mean I can mush them all together? That, I think that could be answered a little bit cleaner. At least for newer people. Uh, maybe it's a lot more obvious if you played the game and you're a fan. Look at all this. This is just a so... There's so many components here. Like, there's so many different varied components here as well. Like, this is a fun area. Like, that was 45 bucks. I say, okay. Like, I have no qualms with that price in any way, shape, or form. I feel like that is a, a, a great value for, <laughs> for a straight. Now, this, that is just for the expansion. But I think that's a that's a great value for the expansion. It includes all unlocked stretch goals. Ooh, I know we're at $300,000, which means we're even going to get, I'm going to get more excited because then we got those. So I'm excited to see the stretch goals as well. Because there was 33. Yeah, that's right. 33. Tag Garden Seasons plus the base game. So this is the last expansion plus the base game, 85 95 so we have wow that right there that right there is the number that i need to know 3238 returning backers saying i need this expansion let that sink in a 3000 print run of this expansion just that expansion that is spectacular oh my gosh Woo! Fifty one dollars for that. Yeah, that was that was a lot of stuff. Uh, and then we have the Golden Age, the Tang Garden. And then is this the Big Whale? No, this is not the Big Whale. This is the Tang Garden Architect Collection. Everything included in the completed collection, 
excluding the base game. So this is, oh, so this is if I have the base game, but I want everything else. Okay, I'm very interested. Let's see how many people are on this one. 133 people want the seasons uh, plus the base game. 293 people. Then we have the complete collection. This is the big one. This is the one they're trying to sell. 212 bucks. It comes with four large boxes. Tag Garden big box. Whoa. Okay. That's... I don't know if that was... I, that is way more impressive the way it's presented here than I think it was the way it was presented in the video. Because I didn't really get the vibe that it was a big box in the video. And maybe that was just me. Let me know what you think about that. I Because it kept saying like, oh, that's just a prototype box. It's like, oh, that's just a weird shaped box. I didn't connect the dots. and Oh, that's the, the big mega box where everything will fit inside the box. Every component will be included in the box. And that is also... That's also makes that... Now this, I think this is a good strategy here. Because how annoying is it when you think you've got everything for a game and then there's more stuff that comes out for the game and, you're like, oh, and then it has to be in the extra box? They're essentially saying, if you buy this, this one pledge level, which I think will be their biggest one, you will have everything for this forever. Forever. And I think that's really appealing to us board gamers uh, because we're, we're just, a lot of people are just collectors. And they don't even realize it. I don't think they ever showed the whale box in the video. Okay, yeah, I think that's a misstep right there. Because this is the pledge level you want most people taking right here. I mean, obviously, you've got 3,000 people. Woo, great job there. Okay. Everything included in the Tang Garden Seasons. All these components from our Kickstarter campaign. 24 character cards. 24 character miniatures. 74. So here's the bottom line. I'm not sweating on the price here. Like, they, uh, this price, how much is it? We haven't seen shipping yet, so I can't give it the full, like, wow. But this is a wow price. Like, typically, I'm like, this isn't a great price. This isn't a terrible price. No, but I feel like this is a great price. This is, this is a good price. Good price being relative to the rest of Kickstarter, of course. Have to put that preface in there. Because Kickstarter is its own separate la-la land of money spending, which is just so bizarre. Uh, Tag Garden Seasons. Now we're talking about all the stuff in the game. Okay, let's see how many people took this one. And 913. Wow. So that tells me it's not quite hitting the mark, probably as much as they might like it to with newer people. Because we have 3,000 plus original people are like, man, this game is amazing. I have got to get this new expansion. But only... You know, 913 only, quote unquote, only 913 people going out for the whale. I just, I feel like typically this number would be higher. They aren't explaining gameplay. They, they are not explaining gameplay. They are not, I think, spotlighting well enough just how awesome this game is. Like, the only reason that I am, like, wowed by it is because I looked over, I'm the nerd who's like, oh my gosh, 3,500 whatever people came back who just loved the, the original game. But yeah, we haven't. We haven't seen anything about the game, uh, like like why it's great. Then we have stretch goals. We're improving all the components of Tag Garden Seasons immediately to match the base game quality. Linen finish for characters. All these stretch goals were unlocked before the campaign on our teaser site. What? So that they had a whole bunch of people to push off this ship. That's great. New decoration scroll. New lantern reserve tile spot. UV cool stuff. Four new fountain tiles. This is unlocked. This is great. And oh, so we're going to have ourselves a really fun ride down through the stretch goals here. Expert characters, child and sword dancers, ladybugs, two small panoramas. This is great. And here's the other thing. I feel like I would either put this up above the price or have all these, like I would upgrade up, excuse me, update every single one of the pledge levels. So like when we have now unlocked uh, this, so it's like, oh, child and sword dancer, it should have a big Kickstarter unlocked. And now, like, I, because here's the thing, I already thought your value was good. Like, I was already on board with your value before the 32 stretch goals. It's typically the other way around on Kickstarter, and I don't feel like the way they're doing it's maybe maximizing that as much. I might be a weirdo, but I want to know gameplay first, always. I, I'm on the same boat here. I am. But I know a lot of people are not. Those components, those artwork. Uh, I think it's just because I've played like I've, I've played like three thousand games, and it's just like I've seen so much good artwork on crappy games. Not to insinuate this is a crappy game, because I mean, it would if this was a crappy game, there would not be three thousand people coming here day one. Look at this plastic base for lanterns. Oh my gosh! Like all of this, this is this is like a whole game here. This is like a mic. 
asymmetric player boards look this is huge this is so much stuff i own the original it's okay <laughs> one that is can uh, huckleberry spinny hi force we're taking notes thanks for the critique thanks for reaching out yeah i uh i was thinking about covering this one but this is this is cool uh all right ron was previous so this is the full gameplay or is this the actual hey everybody today i don't know what this is final thoughts they got the preview uh has a r preview overview and here's the thing and this is this is what i always say like there's how do i put this the people that come here who love the original game are going to back this as long as the price is good they liked your game they thought it was great they want more and so by having these videos that all focus on the expansion, this is great. This shows me the gameplay. I, like, I still have not seen the quotes about the original game. Like, proof. don't just assume I know it's an amazing game. Uh, what do we got? Why Kickstarter? Thundergraph Bazaar? What is this? Is our way to call to call our pledge managers powered by Backercade accessible by this thing? Okay, stuff. Oh, so this is the add-ons. The big box bundle. Most requested by the community cool i get uh, add-ons okay returning backers architects welcome home returning backers from our kickstarter campaign for tag yard will receive a bundle with upgraded minis and a sticker sheet with bigger panorama symbols for three wow that that is a carrot on a stick right there tag yard returning backers if you are getting seasons free if you are not getting seasons ten dollars shipping included interesting any other backers if you're getting see so they must have done some crazy uh, back-end shenanigans some of the other kickstarters but whatever it is it worked <laughs> so go check out if you're interested go find out what they were doing uh here because it looks like so, some people are getting it for free those minis are small four or five i can see why they earned backer favorite yeah like this is like this is a very well polished kickstarter like everything looks good Shipping zones, USA, Austria, and once again, I already know, VATS included. And look at that, spotlighted, VATS included, I love it. Uh, zone A, shipping costs, additional copies, so this is the Tag Garden Seasons, the Tag Garden Seasons plus the base game, the architect, so this is fantastic. This is clean and clear. I, I would convert the currencies, at least for a couple of them, you know, by, uh, like, Canada, America, 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 United States. Um, but nitpick thundergriff club join the thundergriff family interact with us to earn thunders and redeem them for rewards while planting trees we're excited about this opportunity to engage more with you and we're looking forward to revealing everything we have planned for the future if you're part of the club use the special code seasons to get 500 thunders i don't know what a thunder is but i'm excited like that looks interesting a revamp of the club and new rewards are coming soon and then we have social goals wow there's so many great things on this page i can see why it's maintaining its popularity i believe it was like the top 10 top six or something like that i know it's number three i think like the artist school the problem is when you play it the colors are very similar sometimes which causes some confusion oh i have had games like that before with the colors uh let's see oh this is so this is nice is this clickable yep all these are clickable unlock the expert merchant by reaching 1000 additional follows overall in our social channels and they're keeping people updated this is really nice like that's top-notch stuff because right now if i'm super hardcore into this game I can make this happen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Risk and challenges. Hurry. Create a game. Where's the shipping? Take into account sudden difficulties with the shipping. Where's the ship? Already did the shipping. Shipping's already done. Never mind, you noob. Okay. Uh, so, let's check out the FAQ, the updates, the comments. Let's get out of here. FAQ. So, first thing I'd always recommend is I would go check out Yucatan. Not the most recent Yucatan, but the other Yucatan or Reload from Colossal Games. They have a way of organizing the FAQ, which I just think is the best way to do it. Because uh, essentially, if my question is number 11, I have to read through the first 10 to get to that one. It's a minor nitpick, but I think it just makes it look better. Do you have color blindness? I do not, that I know of. Celebrating 5,000 backers, new goals, and Rondo's video. We hope your week is starting off well. We're excited to have reached 5,000 backers in six days. Thank you very much for all your kind support towards Tank. That is a fantastic number. We're really proud of this journey and are happy to see so many of you were part of this. Because ex especially when you realize that this is like the third expansion like think about that the third expansion and you're still going that strong that's 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 doing something right there we're also really grateful to see new people joining in making this last addiction uh happen 
Round us run through, did solitaire gameplay, live stream replay, new set of goals. We're so excited about this new set of goals for two reasons. You have almost unlocked the first one already. The next set to be revealed will be a very special one. Just wow, tons of stuff. And it looks like we're hitting them on a pretty frequent basis. Micro stretch goals to some extent, 16,000 euros apart. Uh, what is this, 12,000 euros? Not bad. Does this mean we expect black water lays? I love all the stretch goals. I hope to, oh, this is, I think this is a new, yeah. This one was just posted. So, that one's not a fair one to grade. Let's take out the next one. So, no comments, 9 comments, 122 comments, 12 comments, 17 comments, and 15 comments. I'm going to guess they asked a question in this specific one right here. Not that one. Y you. I'm going to guess they asked a question here. So, time to vote for the... Yeah, time to vote. Voting. Voting. Oh my goodness, I love voting. That's how you move that Kickstarter algorithm right there on the popularity of the magic chart right there. Look at that. Now, here's the other thing. I know it seems like terrible, but I would totally respond to all these. I would churn and churn and churn that. I would have someone in there, one of your collaborators, just going and responding to every single one of them because people are even more likely to comment on things if they know they're going to be met with success by the creators of the project. You know, it's just human nature right there uh so i would totally do that but that's great and then 1500 updates kudos whatever you're doing in the up whatever you're doing in the comments excellent 1500 and, and we're only five days into this that is fantastic just curious if you're late backer for tag garden complete and uh, this is i imagine yeah whoo five thousand backers in six days coming to the middle of the road slump that builds into the finish line rush can't wait to see backers cross the line of this great campaign guys and so we have green rectangles there we go green rectangles popping up in here lots of stuff all right final grade tang garden seasons do i want it um i think that's the biggest thing there i don't feel like i was ever really convinced that i want it i'm not a components person like you're not gonna get me to ever buy a board game because of components or artwork. just never i would never do that that's not me. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing or a good thing. That's just my personal opinion on that. So I was like, all right, there's a lot of stuff here, but what's it all do? How's it all work? And, and I feel like that just wasn't sold well enough. Like, why do I have to have the original Tang Gardens and the expansion and the expansion and the expansion? Like, and, and so I'd lean a little bit more into that because I because I'm curious now. Like, let's go check out the Board Game Geek on this one. I'm sure there's there's been reviews of this where they could pull, like, something. Dang, dang it. It's, there's no G. It's just Tang Garden. Yeah, let's see who this one's ranked. Yeah, it's in the top 1,000. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, top 1,000 on Board Game Geek. Top 800. I would immediately mention it was a top 800 game. Like, just 45 to 60 minutes top 800 board game. That immediately screams to me, okay, that's a game that I'm actually going to be able to get to the table uh i I'm, I'm wondering if there's a how to play video like a comprehensive there's a see because that's an overview that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for like a is there like an actual like physical how to play video i'd spotlight something like that so do i want it i guess maybe like it looks everybody else wants it so i probably should want it can you do it yes feel super comfortable with that how much is it i actually feel like the price is rock solid Oh my gosh, I didn't even look at the shipping. I glossed over the shipping because of how shiny the shipping area was. So I want the big whale. So 20 euros. And then we're at, so what is that? It's $240 for four large boxes. So I'm looking at $60 a pop. Not to mention everything is essentially going to go into one massive mega box? Question mark? Because there's the other thing. I don't feel like that massive big box was spotlighted as well as it could have been not only in the video but just on this shot right here like set it up against some other boxes like right next to it so i'll know exactly what size it is roundabout a lot of the points deal with looking at colored circles oh we're talking we're talking about game stuff uh gameplay there so final grade on this one i think it's good i think i think the spotlight maybe just your track record just top 800 45 60 minutes those are awesome things to know um, so I'm going to give this one a B plus. I think it's solid. I, I just need to know more about the game. Like just the original game. And then like using all the videos down there just to spotlight the, the, the expansion, you know, let me know in the comments below. What's your final grade? Uh, send, <laughs> send Mr. Battle Guy with some of you want to, uh, 
for this one. And as always, and, and let me, I, I'm going to look at one more. We're done. We've looked at it. But I just want to know. I want to look at a typical tabletop board game. Because I know Connor crushed it on Earth. I shouldn't have checked Earth. I gave Earth an A+. Plus. I think I've only given out like two or three A pluses ever. I want to look at a different board game and see how they're doing on the uh, those ratios right there on the community. Germany, 405. No, but this one's made a lot. Maybe? I don't know. Let me know what you think if you were an international backer about their uh, their shipping because I, I'm not just not getting a good read off. I think I'm off today. But as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. But oh, wait, where, where was it? Oh my gosh, where'd it go? Stop looking at me. Stop it. Where's the? There's too many tabs. Bye bye. <laughs>